Hello, this is Richard Cispedes, and I just want to talk about something that I've been uh, thinking about, and I also made a video about this a while back, and it has to do with uh, how society exists and how the workplace um, within itself, the environment, socializing. Working is forced socializing. Now, I, now, I don't know if socializing, you know, is the same term in politics, you know, the, 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 oh, there's a socialist, no. Um, I don't know if they're connected, but the way what I'm talking about is socializing is speaking to people, social, socializing, talking to people. It's forced socializing. And what happens, the problem with working is that you're forced to interact with people that you may or may not or should not be involved with. Everyone, that's why there's conflicts at work. Sometimes some, some people have good relationships with coworkers. Some people have good don't, but most of the time, the situation itself, the act of working itself, people just don't like, and that's what everybody can agree with, right? Now, the thing is, though, is that um, when people come to work, they, they're, they, you, you have to understand that the reason why, you know, um, there's conflicts and there's uh, mis miscommunication of coworkers and misunderstandings is because people are individuals. People come from different sides of you. People come from different sides of lifestyles, different existences. When you put people together in an environment that come from different angles of life, they're going to have different points of view of certain circumstances that occur at work. No, you know, not, uh, let alone the activity of your job alone. You know, let's just let's just put that out of the way. You know, like what you have to do. Your, you know, your. Uh, a caseworker or you're a food stalker or a bagger at a grocery store or whatever you know let's that put that to a side that within itself working within itself is a problem you know but let's just talk about why a working um, as a system is bad because it's forced you you're forced to have to make a living you're forced to have to make a living that's what the government does that's what the world tells you you're forced to make a living why are you forced to make a living? Why are you forced to exist? You know, you should not be forced to have to go to an environment to work, to interact with people that come from different environments, and then have, and have conflicts of interest and conflicts of different points of view, fighting and arguing and things like that. Now, uh, one other thing is that people, this is one thing, people have their own egos. You know, this is the big thing. People come to work with their own egos. You know, when, when, when an individual comes to work, they have their own point of view and their own way of how they feel of, toward themselves and toward others. Because maybe you have a, how they grew up, but people as individuals, they have egos, whether or not, whether, whether or not they grew up bad or not. You know, because this is how the media be, brings the kids up. It's how, you know, the environment and how just naturalistically people are. People bring their egos, and when they come to work in, a, in an environment, a forced environment, and forced to socialize in, 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 a, in an area with other people, that within itself immediately is one point up. That right there is, a, is a, the start point of conflict. Personal egos, personal views. You know, people want to be your friend, and people don't want to be your friend. It's up to them. People want to understand you, and, or they don't want to understand you. It's up to them because of personal egos. That, that within itself is a problem. The system is incorrect because people interacting, forcing to work, and, and, then, and, then, and then naturalistically interacting with people causes, inf uh, causes conflict it automatically. When, when people go to work, they create a sense of, a, a sense of a neurological attachment to the workplace. They carry this neurological development when they go home. They carry that stressor. They carry the characteristics of the problems of from work to home. That creates a, a change and shift in personality in the individual themselves. This, the, you know, this is forced. You're forcing people to have to interact and have to change their neurological uh, development, the, um, a neurological wiring, personality and characteristics of the environment they work at. It causes more psychological problems also too, conflicts that they bring from work to home and not and, and let's just and that's not even mentioning the problems that they have from home that they bring to work. You know? The thing is though is that 
Why do we have to work? In nature, right now, I could go outside and I could pick up a rock. I could pick up a log. I could go pick up a, a can on the floor. There's no value to it. Well, you know, there's value to me. It's free. You pick up whatever you want and you take it. There is no such thing. Why are we working when we die? We're not even going to take the damn money. Oh, well, I'm going to pass it on to my children. Yeah, but when they die, they're not going to take it with them either. It's going to keep on recycling, keep going around. Money exists in the mind, not in reality. Reality, there's air. There's nothing between you that makes that, that, that limits you from getting what you want. There are, there are no rules. We, we create jobs. We create money so that we can create an, an, an illusion of limits. An, 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 an illusion of limitations and structure. What we have to do as people, we have to reconstruct the work system. We have to reconstruct how we exist in, in our society and how we live day to day. We have to, we have to work. We have to find a different way to reinvent why we work. We have to find a way to reinvent what value is. We have to find a way to reinvent uh, uh, finances, reinvent uh, financial value. Re Get rid of the paper money and reinvent what really matters. Reinvent the work system and the government. Perhaps we could reinvent the work system and reinvent, reinvent the environment and, then, and everything by working for trust. Why can't we work on trust alone? Why do we have to create a delusional idea of papers that have faces on them that are painted green and say that, you know, you have to work for this to pay for this. Why do we have to do that? If we create, if if we we, we created one delusion, why can't we re re replace that c that delusion with another delusion? You know what I'm saying? If we created one delusional idea, then why can't we reinvent that delusional idea with another delusional idea and work for trust and handshakes? Like, say, uh, let's work for just the, the sheer aspect of just making our environment better. Let's work. We should, we should reconstruct the work system so that we can work to better our environment and better, so, and better uh, socializing, helping people, fixing, fixing our neighborhoods. You could pay someone back by owing them some labor or something like that. You know, you could go to work. And for you, you pay your bills by the hours that you spent working, not with money, but by the hours, you know, or something like that. But, but then that will be transformed and then manipulated and then perversed into making time money. So I think that in the real better way, we should just work on trust, not on numeral value of any kind, but rather more on trust. Why can't we replace one delusion with another delusion?